All right, so an IG account called The Rust Way asked the question, mm. who is more valuable to OKC? And they showed these four players. And then someone commented, all of them except Mello. And then Steven Adams liked that comment. Now, he has since unliked it, and our Royce Young tweeted out that it was an accidental like, you know, when you're scrolling and you maybe hit your thumb on the heart. But it was a it was a like of a comment, not of the actual page. So you'd have to go into the comments. I don't know, what do you think? That, Something, nothing, that, everything? To me, that, that's, that's the, my main point. I don't know whether it was accidental or not. And quite frankly, I don't care. Right. What I care about is he's, there's a post. He was tagged in it. That's why he looked at it and said, okay. Then there was... Eight billion comments, right. and he said, let me scroll and read them all. Why are you scrolling through <laughs> comments? Why do you care what the randos are talking about? I don't understand this. Social media has not been good to the NBA over the last couple of weeks. Oh, I would, I would strongly <laughs> disagree. This, Social media this, this has been have. fantastic <laughs> to the NBA. Now, individual people, that is another question, but I would strongly oh, assert God, it is maybe Lee. the best thing that has happened to this league. Golly. Um, Look, I mean, I... I don't know. A big question is going to be with Oklahoma City. What is Melo's role next year? It is hard to see him uh, exercising his player option to say goodbye to how much was it? $19 million? No, it's 28. 28. 28? Okay, right. So there you go. Um, he will never find anything like that on the open market. Um, but of course, uh, and again, Roy Sang, as we refer to. Um, uh, but of course, look, Billy Donovan, and, and it sounds like Sam Presti are making it clear to him that if you want to stay and collect that check, your role is going to have to change. Well, how do you think Melo's going to go with that? He's not going to have a choice but, but to roll it away, and I think that that way is to come off as a reserve. But I would disagree with you. He absolutely has a choice. What, what, what's that? Just say, nah. <laughs> because because <laughs> here's the what? thing. There's so much about culture in Oklahoma City. They're one of the strongest cultures, but yeah. their culture is very us against the world. It's not like Golden State's culture. It's, it's a very kind of insular culture. If you got a guy in that locker room who says, nah, I ain't rolling with that becomes a problem, it's a bigger deal for them to have that roster spot and that locker spot filled by a guy like that. What's going to happen, I mm -hmm. think, if they hold fast to know you have to come off the bench, is he's going to hold fast, as he should, to know I'm not, and then they're going to negotiate a buyout, and then he's going to get to go and keep his money. Well, right. I, I agree, but I think it's been a problem all season long. They wanted him to come off the bench. And who won, who won that problem? Well, that, that, he, he won that. <laughs> I, I don't think Melo, at this stage of his career, is going to win that two years in a row in OKC. I'm very interested. There's so much going on in Oklahoma City this summer. I'm very interested to see how it works out.